Hey guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and today we're playing another Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. It's not just anyone, this is Early Access! Yay! So that's fun. There's Vampire Coast. And, uh, yeah, so I decided I'm actually going to make use of Elithinar. I think he's not crap in this matchup. I think he's actually really good in this matchup. Uh, which is amazing, because, frankly, he can outrun everything. Even on foot, just Vampire Coast is so slow. And he's such a small target for cannons. He can snipe, so you're not going to be able to see him unless you're right on top of him. So, um, yeah, he's basically invincible in this matchup. It's amazing. Um, I never thought I'd see the day when he'd be useful. But uh, here, he's very, very, very useful. So... Here he is. So, uh, yeah, Lithna. So, uh, you know, he's got all right stats, um, good missile damage, and uh, a lot of ammunition at 30. And he's got a load of uh, extra little things like the moon bow. So, you know, big armor piercing explosive thingy. Really good for whittling down depth guard. He's also got uh, mislead, which lets him just, you know, put a decoy of himself to get in the way of stuff. And with a faction that's that slow, delaying them for a couple of seconds just with a decoy, even if they're really on the ball. It's going to take a long time to recover from that if you were actually, you know, anywhere near catching somebody. So it's pretty great. Also, he's got the Stone of Midnight, which is going to give uh, missile resistance, which would be nice, you know, against any artillery or guns or anything. And also the Shadow Crown, which is going to give uh, extra speed to everyone nearby, which is going to be a massive pain. Also, he has Dark of the Skies, which would be extra reload skill for all my boys nearby. And uh, he's also obviously got martial prowess, and yeah, he's got fire while moving. He's, he's, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. So I like him. Uh, also here, you can see I have Shadow Walkers. So this is only for Nagarith, the Shadow Walkers. So these guys have anti-infantry in melee, and they have poison attacks and poison missiles. And they have all those fancy things like uh, stalking and fire while moving and uh, vanguard, which is fun. Uh, as do these uh, Shadow Warriors. But these guys don't have the anti-infantry, they don't have the poison, but just a lot more arrows, right? Just a lot more arrows I can bring to bear. So, this is really fun. But for the core of my army, I suppose, um, I've got a front line of spears. I mean, they've got silver shields, so all the guns aren't going to hurt them too, too much. Mortars, though, mortars do hurt quite a bit. Oof. Anyway, so uh, these guys are fine. You know, they'll hold out for a long time. Good melee defense. Also, a mage of life. Really wishing I'd put her on a horse, though, to be honest. I wish I'd found the money for it. But uh, I just put her on foot to save money. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty good. I've got Flesh to Stone and Earth Blood. Flesh to Stone, basically, they don't have a huge amount of armor piercing in their sort of fodder. So, um, I thought Flesh to Stone could be really useful, um, just on any of my front line to keep them going for a long, long time. So, I decided to go with Flesh to, uh, flesh to Stone. But also, Earth Blood to heal things up is obviously, you know, why well, you want to heal things, right? So, handy. Also, White Lions, these guys, good armor piercing. So, um, yeah, nice if there's any armor. So, things like Depth Guard, these guys might be able to get some good work into. Depth Guard are very formidable, but, uh, you know, I want to make a dent in them at least. And if not, these guys are capable enough with, you know, good enough armor to be able to fight any of that random trash in melee. So uh, having them behind my shields, it's pretty good. And here, also Handmaiden the Everqueen. I never used these guys either. So Handmaiden the Everqueen. So magic and fire damage. So if he does have ethereal stuff, um, I can kill it, which is nice. So uh, things like uh, sirens and things. But also anti-large in melee, which is really nice. Armor-piercing missiles and um, extra reload skill and missile damage for nearby things, as well as even more reload skill, and also melee attack for my front line. So, very useful abilities. They're pretty expensive, but, uh, yeah, pretty handy. So, ideally, I'd like her over here with all my Shadow Walkers, but she can't Vanguard, so I decided she can babysit the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower, which will have a nice, substantial bonus to their stats. So, the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower, I wanted to see how it was, because it's very small. So, uh, Cannon Fire, unless they're using Lore of the Deep, and using, uh, what's it called? Precision shot? Something like that. Unless they're using that spell, basically. Um, I don't think it'll be very easy to hit these guys. So I decided to go with this, see if I could do some counter sort of artillery sniping. So um, over here, you can see Darv here. He has a... Oh, yeah, I'm against Darv, by the way, if I didn't mention that already. So he has a couple of mortars. Mortars that can do well against things like my spearmen. But uh, as you can see, I've already destroyed one model. I think that was actually a Lithanar shooting from over there. Yeah, he's got some pretty good range at uh, 300, so that's rather nice. So uh, those mortars are in a bit of trouble, so Darv is going to have to move up pretty quickly. So he's got a load of pole arms in the front, they have the best melee defense, so that's pretty good. But no shields or anything, but I don't really want to waste my arrows on them. So here, bats did come in to try and get me, so uh, one volley did that. One volley for all these guys, and it pretty much wiped out the unit, so that's pretty funny. But he does have a couple of depth guard. These guys, they're quite vulnerable to missile fire, they do have a lot of armor. But uh, you want to kill them at range. You really want to kill them at range. They have the hunger, right? Which a lot of vampire characters have. So here you can see in melee, they replenish hit points. 
yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, these guys are nuts. Also, you know, not great melee defense, but very good melee attack and huge weapon strength. So these guys will do a lot of work in melee. So killing them at range is great, because if they do get into melee, um, Hunger doesn't actually replenish their units like Invocation the Heck does. It'll only restore, you know, the units that are there um, up to full health. So if you're going to whittle away at the models, you're in better stead. So I've killed one already, somehow. So that's nice. And over here, he's actually got a load of hidden units. So he's got the Black Spot, which are the Regiment of Renown um, handgun gunnery mob. So in melee, they actually have anti-large and armor piercing, which is interesting. It's a fun, fun addition. Also, he's got some rotting Prometheans, heavy armor. I don't have a huge amount of armor piercing, but they're very slow at 45 speed. So that's good. Also, he has Lampreys Revenge, which are the uh, Prometheans sort of gunnery mob Regiment of Renown. I forget what their specific thing is, actually. Yeah, I can't remember what their specific thing is for them, but they got guns on top. They're quite scary, and uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Also, more uh, pole arms. And where on earth is his leadership? Oh, there it is. He has a uh, vampire fleet uh, admiral with a pistol, and it's Lore of Vampires. So he does have Invocation to Heck, which is something I'm going to have to watch out for. So, speeding things up. So that second lot of bats is basically dead, so that's nice. Trying to get a nice volley into the depth guards. There are 42 models right now. And a huge amount of fire coming in, but amazingly he's still at 42 models, which is a real pity. One more volley, and I probably killed a few, but uh, yeah, alas, he's running away, and the bats are coming in to bother me. So I'm going to have my Shadow Walkers try and beat them up, I'm going to use an Earth Blood to try and heal them up. So they can stay at full model count, basically. I don't want these mortars whittling them down, even though I do that missile resist, and they are quite spread out formations, that's going to add up, so I want to keep these guys healed. So uh, over here, they're, they're breaking as well. I'm shooting at, a, um, at those bats with the Handmaiden. Um, because she can hit hard enough, um, it'll just get rid of them nice and quick. But she's actually going through her ammunition pretty quickly. So I'm not sure this is terribly worthwhile. But um, yeah, I just didn't want them hassling me, frankly. So Moonbow shot, getting a beautiful shot straight across the Depth Guard, killing a few models. They're at half health now, which is great for me. But all these rotting Prometheans are coming in, and they're going to take many, many, many arrows. But they are actually weak to fire, so uh, having having my handmaiden shoot at them would have probably been a good idea. I should have probably prioritized that. Whoops. Anyway, this mortar, all the mortars are destroyed. This mortar, I think there's two left. Um, so yeah, pretty good. I've got rid of a lot of the artillery, so that's nice. So these guys are going to move up, sort of behind my lines a bit, and I'm going to try and get some shots into these guys. So you can see I'm getting some alright damage into the uh, Lampreys Revenge. Oh, and this is Decoy Elithinar, held up all this stuff, which is great. So these guys can start running away, so that's nice. And I've actually got my Handmaiden shooting to the side of these Depth Guard. She honestly hits hard enough, it's going to do a lot of damage, a substantial amount. She's going to kill maybe a model every time she hits. So that's really good for me. That is very, very good for me. So another big old volley into the uh, Lampreys Revenge over here. I'm slowly whittling them down. I've got the armor piercing of the white lines trying to deal with them, so that's definitely going to help. But you can see now they are starting to crumble. But he's broken through here, and my maid got a bit caught out, which is not good. Um, she got bullied by the uh, Fleet Admiral, and now the Rotting Prometheans have kind of cut her off. So here, I'm trying to shoot at them with my um, Equal Claw Bolt Thrown out to get some extra damage in, because this is a bit precarious. So big old volley. From all these guys, you can see is doing a substantial amount of damage. They're down to 35 speed, which is pretty great for me. But I cannot escape that Admiral, which is very annoying. He has 45 speed to my 35, which is a real, real pity. So uh, my mage has broken, which is not good for me. But these guys are crumbling now. Unfortunately, they've rallied, so they're actually winning on that side now, thanks to the uh, Depth Guard joining the fray, which is not good for me at all. You can see his health is way up now. And uh, here, the Black Spot are now in range, and they're getting some good shots into my Inclaw Bolt Thrower. Nice volley into the uh, Vampire Fleet Admiral. I was hoping he'd change target. Um, but nope, he's still chasing my mage, which is annoying. Very, very annoying. And now, Lampreys Revenge, the next target that I just have to deal with. So I'm just trying to keep running back and screening these guys. Fire while moving is so useful against a faction like the Vampire Coast that are just so slow. It is so good. You can get a lot of value from just, you know, kiting, basically. So that's nice. So uh, over here you can see the Handmaiden. I've actually got chasing the uh, Fleet Admiral. I'm getting some more shots into him. That anti-large of the Handmaiden is going to be very useful to get some hits on him. He doesn't have the best combat stats, you know, the standard Admiral. So that's really good for me. I'm getting some lovely shots into him. He is summoning some guys. I love the summoning animation. All the water just splashing up and them coming out. I mean, they're the drowned dead, right? So it's, uh, it's appropriate, but it looks amazing. 
So here you can see he is using Invocation to Heck, which is just in time because he is crumbling. And my mage did come back too, which is good for me. But uh, I'm trying to sort of pull her back towards the rest of my guys. And this Admiral has to die because it's not great. So I am shooting at him with, uh, with my um, Handmaiden, but she's actually very low on ammo, I didn't realise. So over here... Hopefully dealing with Lamprey's Revenge, still moving back. They are crumbling once more. But the front lines, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of Depth Guard left to loathe, which is not good for me. But uh, I'm holding. I'm holding all this stuff back. Over on this side, I'm dealing with a lot of these units, so that's nice. And uh, once again, he's using... Uh, oh, nope, he doesn't have um, Invocation Heck. My bad. I thought he was using the other Invocation. But uh, yeah, Overcasting would have been a bit of a waste anyway. So they're finally dealt with, and now it's just the Deckhands mob. So I'm actually going to charge in with the Shadow Walkers with their anti-infantry to try and kill these guys quicker. And I'm going to turn these guys off fire at will. I do not want to waste what, what little arrows they have left on this stuff when, um, well, I, yeah, there's stuff I really need to kill at range. Honestly, these guys I'd like to kill at range. They can do a lot of damage. Um, an awful lot. I mean, look at this. As you can see, my Handmaiden is getting shot to pieces. I used Flesh to Stone on her to try and make her a bit more survivable. Um, I overcasted it, so it lasts so long. It lasts a heck of a long time. So, getting some shots into them. But, uh, yeah, my Shadow Walkers, they're actually struggling in melee here. Um, they don't have a lot of armor, so just, you know, massive swathes of trash. They're doing pretty well, and honestly, I think these guys might be shooting them in the back a little bit. Whoops. So, anyway. So, still running away. Foe Seeker to try and run away quicker. Because, I mean, look at this. Yep, I'm just out of range. Good. Good. Keep, keep in it. Come on. Stay in the fight. Uh, my mage, though. Yeah, 28 health. They've decided that enough's enough. And they've left, so no more magic for me, which is a real pity. And my front line has broken, which is a real pity. But, uh, I mean, his fleet admiral's dead, so that's all good. So uh, these guys now, spearmen mopping up the last of them. I'm going to try and deal with his mortar, because it's still got ammunition. But uh, amazingly, it doesn't seem to be firing it anyway. Oh, yes, there it goes. So, um, yeah, mortars can do quite a lot of damage to spearmen. And, yeah, yeah. That's evidence. But uh, So I'm going to go deal with him. I'm trying to get my white lines to back them up. I just want to start blobbing my infantry up. These guys can outrun everything so they can regroup with them if need be. But I really just need to get on top of the black spot and shut them down. And over here, uh, Darv is still chasing a load of my units with Depth Guard. So that's good. They're wasting their time a bit. I don't think they're going to catch these guys while they run. So uh, that's fine. That's fine. He'll have to go really far out of his way. And it means I can get rid of this unit. So I use the decoy straight on top of him. And that's useful because uh, suddenly they were bogged down. You know, they weren't shooting anymore. They wanted to be melee. And so Darv just had to retreat them. And now they are starting to break. So that's good. So I'm chasing them. Elithanar is still firing, which is a mistake. I should not have had him on fire at will. Because he's only got two ammo left. And that would be really useful for killing things like these Depth Guard. But the ones with ammunition... What units I have with ammunition, I have in the back, and they're going to fire into the Death Guard. And you can see, doing substantial damage. So that is great news for me. Uh, the Shadow Warriors are in here, which is great. I think Shadow Walkers are back here somewhere. There they are. So uh, I get some good damage into them, so that's nice. And Elithanar does have pretty good combat stats, you know. Oh, that's the decoy. He does have pretty good combat stats, to be fair, you know. He's, he's alright, so he can do okay in a pinch. And as you can see, um, yeah, these Death Guard are crumbling, so that's awesome. So I'm overwhelming this stuff, and I'm trying to drag all my units up and around, and I actually have the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower shooting at this other unit of Depth Guard, which is definitely good for me. So I've finished off the Mortar, and all this stuff can start coming back this way. It's going to take a while to join this fight, though. But uh, yeah, with the guns online, I just have to get on top of this stuff. I can't be wasting ammo, and now I have no ammo, so yeah, it's all looking a bit rubbish. Handmaiden, she's in there trying to fight and help, but uh, too injured. She's, she's getting out of there. She's just too injured. But those Depth Guard are going. These ones, though, yeah, they're still going and they're um, pretty damn comfortable. Oof. Yeah, this isn't going to be good. So here, Moonbow. Not bad. Not bad damage. So that's good. They're down to 21 models. I like that. There's no spellcaster anymore. So no invocation of Hex. So they're stuck at that 21 models. So it's only going to get worse for them. So that's really good for me. Really, really good. So uh, here, getting on top of the black spot. I've got the Silver Shields. You know, that should help a bit. They're a pretty haggard unit. They're not going to do a huge amount in combat. But they can soak up some damage. And now Lithnar still trying to finish these guys off. All my Shadow Warriors and uh, I think, yep, Shadow Walkers as well. They charge in. So the Death Guard are going to get poisoned by the uh, Shadow Walkers. The anti-infantry is going to help. And frankly, 38 melee attack is enough when they only have 39 melee defense. So they will get some good hits in. So just overwhelming numbers and the bad leadership. I should be able to cut through these guys, which is uh, quite surprising, honestly. I thought they'd just sit and fight immediately, think, oh, I'm winning this fight, and heal through it and not crumble. But they crumbled. So that is awesome. 
So, uh, more shots into my Shadow Warriors. I just can't believe these guys won't stop shooting. It's very annoying. My poor Shadow Warriors. Oh. Anyway, so I'm getting back in there again. So, he's got some pole arms. Um, that's the only big threat left now that the Depth Guard are gone. And uh, that will actually trigger army losses, and everything will disintegrate. About time. Ready, zombies. And that's game. So there we go, Pyrrhic victory. I mean, it's definitely Pyrrhic. I mean, I lost a lot of guys. A lot of good elves died today. But, uh, my word, 104 kills for my Shadow Walkers, that is pretty great. And I'm kind of wishing I'd sort of double down on Shadow Walkers, honestly. Um, I think it'd be more worthwhile. I mean, the poison is very nice uh, for really good support. But, I mean, they just do so much more damage, which is really good. And they have anti-infantry, so when you do inevitably run out of ammo, because there's so much stuff that needs shooting, uh, you can just get them stuck in, and they will easily beat anything like the zombie deck hands or, you know, anything cheap like that. So as long as you can make sure you're using your ammunition on expensive things like the depth guard or for sniping out artillery or, you know, anything, anything expensive, then, yeah, you can just run into melee to finish the trash. So I think uh, I think I want to double down on these guys next time I try this. But uh, as you can see, I mean, Elithinard did great. I mean, 92, 93 kills. That's beautiful. Handmaiden did a good job. My mage did get caught out, though, and that was a bit of a pity. But uh, she definitely helped. You know, she got a couple heals off. Flesh to stone. You know, it's pretty handy. But, uh, yeah, I like this build. I think this might be quite good against the Vampire Coast, because... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's a few ways High Elves can do it. I think generally you need just a lot of archers, loads and sea guards, spear, and just go very wide. But uh, this is actually more elite, you know, an army than I've seen um, against a lot of other builds. Because, well, frankly, people are kind of scared of Depth Guard. If the Depth Guard can get into melee, I mean, look at this, 114, 101 kills. As soon as they get into melee, they will just cut through any, any of this stuff. Because if they outclass it, they're just going to kill it and be healing while they're killing it. Right? So you need something way more elite to deal with Depth Guard. Like, Swordmasters will just cut them to ribbons. But you can't really risk bringing Swordmasters because the chances are Vampire Coast are going to have some artillery and, you know, or hand gunners or something, and Swordmasters are going to be a prime target for that. So it's tough. It's tough to know what to do. But I think, uh, yeah, a lot of Shadow Warriors, they just have no, no risk of being caught. I mean, Hounds, sure. You know, the Scurvy Dogs, maybe. But these guys can just get one volley into a unit of scurvy dogs, and the scurvy dogs are dead. They're just going to crumble from taking so much damage all of a sudden. So, you know, going all in with a load of these guys, they can keep themselves safe pretty well. So, I think it'd be good fun. So, yeah. Yeah, I think this build works. I think a Lithanar is useful, which uh, I never thought I'd say. So, uh, I'm pretty pleased about that. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, which will be more early access stuff. Isn't that great? I'm, uh, I'm very happy about that. I do like me some early access. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.